Maybe you've just got one of these, the brand new iPhone 7 Plus, or you've installed iOS 10 on the iPhone 6S or any of the earlier models that support Apple's latest software. Well, if you have, there's a few features you need to know about. And we're gonna give you a quick guide to the best features in iOS 10. We're gonna start off with a really easy one. It's called Raise to Wake. And it's Apple's way of ensuring you don't always have to unlock the phone just to see your notifications. So for a black screen, as you saw there, you can just give the phone a flick and the screen will come on and display any notifications that may be there ready and waiting for you. It's a really handy little feature. If you don't want that feature, it is possible to disable it. And you're gonna to have to go into settings and into general and to display and brightness and under display and brightness you're going to find the raise to wake toggle there and you can turn it off if you find that frustrating the next major change in ios 10 is the ability to remove those pesky standard apps that apple loves to install that many people quite often don't use if it really frustrates you to that extent you can now get rid of them stocks is the one that everybody usually hates uh, and instead of hiding it away in a folder like I have, you can now easily remove it. You can hold down the icon just as you would before and a little X pops up in the corner there and you can delete it should you want to. Bear in mind, if you do start deleting standard apps in iOS, you can run into some problems because many of them do work within iOS. So if you start to take away mail, for example, you're gonna run into some problems with attaching files or certain other uh, features within the operating system. So just bear it in mind before you go crazy and start to remove all sorts of different things. Moving on from that, there's a new way to wake up using iOS 10 and your iPhone 7. It uses the clock app up here and it's called Bedtime. Bedtime is the option just down the bottom here. You tap that. And instead of giving you a simple alarm clock, this gives you the option to select the amount of time you sleep. So in this case, we've got seven hours. And that tells you then you should go to bed at midnight if you want to wake up at 7 a.m. Hit options and you get the chance to select the days of week that you'd like to do this and also the volume and the type of ringtone that you'd like to wake up to. Even better than that, it'll give you a little reminder every evening about the time you should be going to bed. That can be like 10 minutes before or up to an hour before. It also adds sleep tracking to Apple Health. It's a nice little feature. It's not the only new addition to different apps that are standard within iOS. For example, if you'd use Notes quite a bit, there's a collaborative feature now featured and now included in this. So you open up your Notes and you go to one that you want to collaborate with someone and hit this button just in the top corner here. You tap that and you have a variety of options to add different people to the notes and then collaborate together. As you may already know, Messages has had a considerable update in iOS 10. There are all kinds of new features within this, not least an app store to download all kinds of different games and stickers and things like that to make your chats really good fun. So we've got a few here for you to take a look at to see which ones you enjoy the best. Now, if you're just going to send a little message, so we're gonna say, just test there, and you want to give it a little bit more than just the text. If you hold down on the send button, you get all these different options. So you can, these here are related to the vibration effect of when the alert comes through. So gentle, loud, or slam, and you get that whole animation and a uh, considerably more effective haptic feedback from the phone itself. You can also tap on screen there and have all sorts of different effects. We quite like the laser to make it even more fun. So very much over the top, but definitely very different to any other messaging system that we're, we're used to on an iPhone. If you've received a message that you really like, for example, this Harry Potter GIF that we've been sent here, if you double tap one of those, you get a short list of options up here that you can react 
too quickly there. So a little thumbs up because, well, because it's Harry Potter. Additionally, you see this little arrow here. This is where you'll find all of the different um, really interesting features under iOS 10. The camera lets you send pictures straight from your camera roll. And when you add a picture in, if you tap that, you get some editing functions directly in the app. You don't need to go out and go into your photo system. You can also mark it up using different effects. Again, a very handy time-saving feature for the messaging app in iOS 10. If you want to use the tap and touch system, just like an Apple Watch actually, you use the center button here. This little screen will send different effects just like that. If you want to change those effects, you can go into full screen mode just by tapping the menu at the side and it will give you a list of what you can do. Siri has also got a little bit more clever in iOS 10. And if you're unsure ever of what Siri can do, and there are a lot of things Siri can do, you just have to ask. And you do that just like in old iOS systems. Hey Siri, what can you do? You can ask me to get directions, make phone calls, and send new texts and emails. I can show you lots more when you can look at your iPhone. So there we are, Siri can do quite a lot. And if you want to know how, just ask. There have been some other changes too, most notably under Control Center, which you still access by pulling up from the bottom of the screen. But now there are two screens, so you just have to slide across. Now you have your shortcuts here and you have your music control on the second screen. Additionally, here's a great little tip. If you hard press on any of these shortcuts, you get some extra options. We particularly like the ability to adjust the intensity and brightness of the flashlight. Finally, iOS users may notice a little bit of a difference here. When you used to start up iOS, there would be a camera access button just at the bottom here. It's not lo no longer the case, but it hasn't completely disappeared. Instead of using a swipe across the screen there, you swipe from the edge to bring up the camera. Just as quick and easy, just without that little icon at the bottom. So that is a quick look at some handy tips for iOS 10, whether it's installed on your iPhone 7 Plus or on an older device like the iPhone 6S or 6S Plus. You can find more on Digital Trends right now.